As crews in Lahaina Town continue their search through the rubble for the missing, about 20 miles down the road in Kihei, the scene couldn't be more different. Visitors flocking to blue ocean waters, a stark contrast from the grim reality down the coast. My heart goes out to everybody. The drone family visiting from North Carolina says they didn't know about the fires until they landed Tuesday night. They had originally planned to visit Lahaina, but were forced to change those plans. Did not expect it to be what we experienced. At Tasty Crust Restaurant in Wailuku, employees say it's clear more people are vacationing in central Maui. With this tragedy, we're probably up into the six, seven hundred uh, people per day. Normally, a traveler influx is welcome, but staffing shortages are hampering business, with workers from West Maui dealing with the wildfire aftermath. We do have a couple of employees that are stuck on that side of the island that cannot get over here. Some locals are now urging visitors to hold off on vacations to Maui. There are people still grieving the loss of loved ones and everything that they own. But it's okay for people to come in and enjoy our home right now. And although there's been a significant drop from the nearly 7,000 daily arrivals down to about 2,000, some believe there's still too many visitors. We asked top state and county officials about the concerns. Some feel those who remain are hampering relief efforts by the community. Do you feel it's time for all visitors remaining on Maui to leave for the time being? All of our people uh, will need to survive and we can't afford to have no jobs or no future for our children. When you restrict any travel to a region, you really devastate its own local uh, residents. I don't think anybody has a problem with visitors. I think people have problems with rude visitors. South Maui is open. Kihei and Wailea is open. Maui is not closed. A tale of two worlds in the aftermath of a historic tragedy.